Great catching up with my next guest, Jeff Neal, who's going to be back in action against Shavkat Rachmanov next Saturday, at UFC 285. Jeff, how are you? Live from the PI, uh, late yes, at night. Here. Yeah, late at night. Just got done uh, with a little workout, helping out Span. He uh, Span fights this Saturday, so just getting him ready. That's great. So why? So you're you're out there a little bit early, uh, just because of your teammate? Yeah, and uh, I always like to get uh, to the uh, wherever I'm fighting early. Just yeah. get my mind right. Get ready for the next week. No, it makes sense, man. Um, let's go all the way back to, you know, you were supposed to fight Shavkat on January 14th. I know there was an injury. What exactly happened there for people who might not be aware? Um, I mean, uh, I'm going to keep that up. Uh, you know Close to I mean? the vest. Uh, I get it. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. L- lower body or upper body injury? That That's, uh, we, we can get a little vague there, can't we? Just the whole body. <laughs> whole body. Okay. Yeah, it's all good. It, it, it was, it's, it's all good now. It's, uh, I just had a push through it and uh right now i'm 100 percent ready to go that's good were you worried at all that you might have lost this uh, opponent just because again you beat a shavcat that counts for a lot in the weight class right no there, there's not I, I knew he was gonna once i got hurt i was like we're just gonna run it back because nobody nobody's trying to fight him and uh i'm here i, I don't I, i'll fight anybody in the division so fuck it yeah no it makes sense man um was this the right amount of time off or was it one of those things where hey it's the john jones return card i gotta fight on this no nah. It was the right amount of time off, and uh, I, I wasn't expecting to be on the card with John Jones, but, but it's fucking awesome uh, to be able. I'm gonna be there live to watch him come back. Hopefully, he wins that. Yeah, no, no, we're excited for it. Um, you know, you've had even more time to prepare for Shavkat now. Uh, stylistically, I'm sure you've had you know a lot of time to look at his fights and everything. How do you feel like you match up against him? Uh, match up pretty well. Uh, but he's tall, he's long, but I feel like I'm a, I'm faster, I'm stronger, more explosive. You know. Uh, We'll just see how it goes. It's, 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 it's going to be a good one, that's for sure. How much do you factor in your durability as well? You've never been finished in the UFC, and he's a guy that typically does go out there and get it done. Uh, how much of a benefit is that for you, do you think? I mean, I don't know. I've, it, anybody can get finished, you know what I mean? I don't want to hang on to the fact that I've never been finished in the UFC, you know what I mean? Uh, mm. to, uh, I'm just going to uh, – my durability just comes from me – protecting myself in defense you know what i mean it's not even yeah. durability it's defense i'm not i'm not you don't see me out here getting bust in the face like for like 15 minutes you know what i mean i'm blocking i'm countering so i i wouldn't say i'm durable i would say that i uh, i'm smart yeah and, and i guess in terms of well the, the reason i bring it up is because like you know if he can't finish you like maybe he has to change his game plan maybe he has to do a couple other things i would think for someone like yourself because you like you said you don't get hit a lot that would be an advantage for you because he's not used to doing what he's used to doing you know what i mean uh, I feel like it's gonna be a big advantage. We're gonna, I feel like I'm gonna, we're gonna get to see another part of the shaft cat. You know what I mean? I don't think I ever seen him in like a, like a hard fight. You know what I mean? So uh, we're gonna see that next week. Yeah, that's great, man. By the way, you're getting an Uber right now, so if we do get disconnected, people will know why. I think this is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you're doing this on the fly here. What about camp? Uh, who did you get to work with this time around? Who's helping you get ready for this one? Uh, my the usual uh, Ryan Span, uh, Ramiz. Well, Ramiz is hurt now, so never mind on that. And then uh. Zumar, uh, one of my training partners, Jules, and uh, somebody came from DC's gym, uh, Kyle Crutchmer. Oh, cool. I'm working with him now. That dude's a beast. Uh, give me one second. Let me put my stuff in the trunk. Jeff has now arrived in his Uber here for people who are uh, paying attention at home. Uh, it might be a little dark here, but uh, we can still hear you, right? So it's all good. You can hear and see me? Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you mentioned camp, working with Kyle. Uh, how long was he at camp with you? Uh, how long did you get to work with him? For, for a good two weeks. A long two yeah. weeks. That is a beast. <laughs> yeah, and his wrestling's really good too, right? So I'm sure that's going to help yeah. you in this fight. Yeah, that's for sure. It's a it's a different type of uh, wrestling that I've uh, I'm not used to. You know what I mean? And I'm I'm sure Shavkat's not going to wrestle like that. But it's just uh, it was a good thing to uh, have him in and uh, wrestle with me and uh, get my cardio up. Yeah. No, no, I'm with you there, man. Um, and then the weight cut, I saw you drinking the Starbucks. I'm sure you're eating real clean. Uh, how, how's all that going? We're about a week and a bit away. It's going good. It's, good. it's uh, better than the last time. Yeah. yeah. I, I well, what happened? Pretty, why why, why was the weight cut not good last time? Oh, it sucked. <laughs> I barely made it, but uh, I made it. What, was it. Was that just because of the diet or what you ran at a time or what, what happened there with the last fight? It was it, it was the diet. I, I, uh, ever since I had uh, got sepsis, uh, I'm not able to eat the same foods that I used to eat. You know what I mean? Okay. So I got to, now I have to dial my diet back, like uh, dial it in a little bit more harder whenever it's time to cut weight. 
Um, what about this time around? Everything going good? And plus, you're at the PI early, so I'm sure you get those Icon meals, right? Yeah, I mean, they, they send me Icon meals. I, I have so much Icon meals in my fridge, it's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, well, but, now uh, you get them even faster, right? Because they're just down the street from wherever you're staying, right? True. So. Yeah, that's good. Um, but yeah, w- weight's good this time around. You think it'll be easier than last time? Oh, it's way easier this time. Okay. Well, that's good. I mean, you had one of your best performances in your last fight, so if that was a bad weight cut. Just imagine, uh, you know, how this fight's going to be, right? So. Hey, exactly. That's great. Um, so who's gonna who's down there with you? Obviously, uh, safe uh, coach Safe will be the, in your corner. Who else is going to be in the cage with you that night? If uh, I brought in, um, bring in one of my wrestling coaches, uh, David Bertolino. He's going to be there, and then uh, uh, Krukasib. Awesome. That's great, man. And uh, prediction for the fight. How's this one going down? It's three rounds. Uh, both you guys are, you know, high level. How do you see this one playing out? Well, it's the same way I always do. It's either um, I'm going to get it out of there in the first or second, or it's going to be a three-round war. Yeah. Ain't nothing to it. Um, Got to ask you about the main event. Jones, gone. Who's your who's your pick in that one? Man, I'm going for Jones, man. I, it's, I'm, I know he's going up to heavyweight and all the, all the factors and all that crap, but uh, I just like John Jones. You know what I mean? I it's ridiculous how much hate he gets and he's just not respected as like one of the greatest, uh, one of the greatest fighters in the sport, but I'm rooting for him. I hope he wins. What about, uh, Kamara Usman and Leon Edwards in your weight class? Who's winning that fight? Yeah. It was my, I, I mean, unless, uh, Leon does something different. Uh, Usman's going to win. We talked about this before. Shavkat's got a lot of hype. He's undefeated. Um, you know, again, like, and I think the odds are favoring him a ton. A win here has got to be huge for you, right? That's got to get you into that, you know, contender spot, I would think. Is that kind of what you're thinking? Yeah, for sure. Like, because uh, nobody wanted to fight him, so I fought him. So I'm taking the fight, and then uh, nobody really wants to fight me either. So, like, once I beat him, like, I'm a, I already beat Bilal. Uh, Gilbert's been running away, so I feel like the belt's the next, the next step. What do you make of the fact that it seems like Bilal's kind of angling to fight the winner of uh, Edwards and and, uh, and Usman, but like you said, you have a win over him. Yeah, I mean, we'll see how it plays out. We'll see. I think it's going to come down to what the people want to see. Yeah, you that's a good mean? point. We'll end this fight too, like depending on how it goes. I mean, again, the, there's, there's a, you know, obviously the UFC can change their mind. We saw them switch up the lay heavyweight title fight on a, on, you know, after watching one fight, right? Dana White gives Jamal yeah, Hill nowhere. the title shot. So Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, you just you just never know. I'm just as as long as I keep myself in this uh, position that I'm in right now, uh, the the title shot's gonna come. Yeah, no, that makes sense, man. And do do you get the sense that the UFC like appreciated you stepping up and taking this fight? Because like you said, a lot of people don't want to fight Shavkat. You're like, hey, I'm good. Let's do this. Who knows? I don't know what they. I, I just as long as they uh, cut that check at the end of the day. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, but you but you got to feel like they like you though. I mean, they put you in, you know, pretty good. They gave you the Wonder Boy fight. Um, you know, they I'm yeah. sure they like your style. Like, you know, there's fighters that that they're not that generous to, you know what I mean? And, nah, and, and you're, to, you're right about that. They they do take care of me. Yeah. And uh even though I don't have like a like a super big following, I'm always on like good good like spots on the card, you know what I mean? Uh they they pay me pretty well, so yeah, I appreciate the UFC. Well, and and you're on the pay-per-view this card. That's a big deal, right? That's a huge deal. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that, that'll it's, be great. It's, it's, a, it's a big card to be on pay-per-view for. Um, what about, uh, so you're in Vegas right now, obviously. Um, obviously, they're supporting your teammate. Outside of all that, uh, what are you going to be doing for downtime? Did you bring a gaming system? Are you going to watch some Netflix? What are you doing? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I brought my I brought my PS5 this time. I'm going to be playing uh, playing uh, Harry Potter right now, yeah. Are you? Is it good? <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I've never, I've never watched any of, the, any of the movies or read any of the books. But uh, I'm, a, I'm a big RPG fan, so uh, that's right in my alley. Okay, I don't want to put you on the spot here. Uh, I'm going to be at your fight next week. I'm actually going to cover the event starting Tuesday. Um, oh, yeah. What's your favorite retro video game? Like, what did you play growing up? Like, I don't know if you were like a Genesis or N64 guy. Is there like a favorite game you have? Because the reason I ask is because we got. I'm bringing my old system. It's got all the old games on it. Oh, yeah? yeah. Which, which system are you bringing? So it's got it's got like Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, like oh, right. I, I don't know what what did you play growing up? Did you play like NBA Jam or anything like that, or like I play, NFL? I played Bits? all the games. I, I I probably had like a hundred like Sega games and like the ten. I don't know. I think one of my favorite games was like uh, 007 uh, Goldeneye. Oh, even better. We could do uh, you know yeah. what what is it? Uh, uh, pistols or something like that, and just do uh, you know yeah. license to kill. Yeah, there or you multiplayer go. something I like that. that. Let me ask you this question, though. Is, is, uh, is, is Coach Safe, does, does he play video games at all? Because I think it would be funny to watch the two of you play against each other. <laughs> he, don't get so, uh, he, he plays every now and then. Uh, I remember uh, we played one time, we played uh, Madden. 
and he swore up and down he was gonna beat me, and then I then I beat him. Okay. And he was pissed off at me for about like two days straight, but he got over it. Well, either way, next week I'm gonna hunt you down. Uh, we'll we'll figure out something. But I think it would be funny to watch you and Safe play. But if not, you and I got to go toe to toe at some game. So I'll I'll make some. We'll, we'll try and make some time yeah. next week for sure. Yeah, for sure. What, what day are you gonna be in there next week? I'm, I'm getting in on Tuesday, so 28th. All right, perfect. So plenty of time. That's yeah, perfect. I'll see you then, man. Yeah, see you there. All right, Jeff. Uh, looking forward to this, man. UFC 285 next Saturday. If there's anyone you want to thank before we get out of here, sponsors, social media, you name it. Maybe Starbucks will give you a discount or a gift card. Uh, the floor is yours. <laughs> I wish. Nah, that's, that's it for today, man. Okay. Brad, thank you for interviewing me, man.